We're back out with one and only Tony Tebby from Prairie the University on this episode, and we're starting to see a switch. I've got a shot. That's know. too far to let me go. I don't have a shot. Yes, yes. Well, I missed that coyote only because I had a big old blue haze and fog go right in front of me, right over my scope. Blueberry raspberry. Um, I'll thank Tony for that one. It just went right in front, so I couldn't, I couldn't see that coyote. I got the one on the right. Oh, yeah, there's another one back there. There's one on the left, too. There's another one coming in. Hold on. Keep it. Got one. Got the one in the back. Another one on the right. There's one back there. And the other one's running off. Okay. But there was another one back here that ran. There's four right here. I was going to get to a 3 2 one or something. Huh? I didn't have a lot. I wasn't on it. He barked, so I thought I would. It stopped. I was like, they didn't stop. stop. Yeah. At least we got one. Did you get one, Cody? Yeah. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. That one I made a shot a little back because as soon as I. After you shot that one, there was another one out here that was standing that took off. Oh. So there was these three and that single was four right here. I shot the one back where that one was the first time. Yeah. yeah. Almost same spot. But he was just a little to the left where I could see him. I could see more body. I never saw you hit him, but I heard it. I heard it. Yeah, I heard it too. Full... I that one of mine, I may have shot it a little bit. back, but it dropped. Yeah, he's <laughs> laying dead now. I yeah. just see him. So we've seen six times. That's a magic. On this one stand. That's a magic of Denver right there. Yeah. yeah. Actually, he must have been coming to Gang Pup because... I switched to Denray, looked up, and he was standing there. That's where we need a shotgun right there. Yeah. They were coming hard. 
See, he got, Dude, they started fighting or something. He yeah. got a set of balls when the other one joined yeah. him. Yeah, when that one came up, he was like, okay. Yeah. Let's go whoop his ass, Steve ass. Yeah. Well, good job. Wait, 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 another guy, another guy. Wait, where? Oh, yeah, I see him. Where? Let me get that sound back on. Oh, yep. Yeah. Show you out here. Yeah, I'm running. There's two, two of them. them. Right now, do you want to wait? Do you, do you have a shot? Here they come. All right. Which one are you on? I'll take the right one. I got one. One, two, three, go. I didn't have a shot. The tall pairs would have made a difference on this man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is actually what the second coyote that went down? Yeah. Right, because you shot the first one coming yeah. in on the, the double or triple. All right. And then they split off. They he split. ran back here and he stopped. Yeah, you shot one up close. Yeah. He split off, come back here. I got this one. Two more took off. Oh yeah. Nice. And then two more came back. Yep. Yeah. That's a nice one. So that's four, six. Female. 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 Four, six. The one that I hand called in is seven, and the one that was hand called in and snuck behind is eight. There was eight on this stand. Look at there. That was a good in there. Not, Not a bad one. one. Nice female. Yeah, I'll, I'll Not a bad one right there at all. I redeemed myself. I, the very first shot I took, I could only see, it was just basically a head shot back here, and I didn't get steady on it enough. That's the that's the joy of the sport. It goes from from boredom to chaos instantly. Yeah. And that, it's that adrenaline rush is what draws you to predator hunting. How many television shows have you watched where they're deer hunting or elk hunting or, and the, on the last day, that's when it all comes together? Yeah. yeah. yeah that, that was, last day, that was last a great stand. We even had, we had one come in straight from behind us and winded and he just took off and eight coyotes total. Yeah. That's that was, a good stand. Let's go, let's go round them up. I knew I shot that one back, but it's not nearly as back as I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's the male. Well, guys, here's number two. Well, here's number one. Here's number one. This is the first one that came in. We had two come in, like Jason was saying. I mean, they weren't even... Well, this one from the call is 60 yards. Tony barked. Unfortunately, Jason's coyote didn't stop, but this one did. So when they're that close, you just got to take it. It panned out. It worked out. We got a big male here. Two pointer. Get a little white tip. Yep. And then there's the female. Yep. That's his girlfriend. Yep. Look at the canines on that dude. He's a little older. Yeah. He's small. There's not a whole lot to eat. Well, actually, well, the rabbit population is coming back. But... Because as soon as I was getting ready to shoot, he turned like that, and I thought, uh-oh, I shot him in the back. <laughs> Too far back, now, heck, he dropped. That one boy, he was just kind of trotting, and he looked over to have him come, and he's like, he picked it up. He picked it up. Yeah, that was awesome. Those, when those two, first two, and they and that one saw the other one, it was trying to cut it off to get to the sound. We just got a triple down, a whole bunch of them were, they came into play. We ended up getting three. But I tell you what, we started using this Huntworth camo, and we blended in with these sagebrush and it's comfortable it's breathable and it keeps you warm on mornings like this we put the uh the osd rifles to use didn't we oh yeah i'm shooting the 22 nozzler <clears throat> cody's shooting the 22 250 and the black diamond optics on top man i tell you what what an exciting stand oh, that was man, fun that was a, that was a blast we've had a rough couple days the storms came in it was windy it was really rough just shut us down Very and windy. uh we had a good feeling. We had a good feeling about today. We just knew today was going to be good, and 
Of course, it's the last day that we're here, so. It's our second stand of the morning. We had some hound on the on the first stand. They just didn't want to play, but Tony went into some hand calls, man, and these were just, they were coming in. We had them everywhere. <laughs> it was like a swarm of flies just coming around all over the place, so. Zigzagging. As soon as Tony switched over back over to den raid, here come more from the back. And, uh, and, and the nice thing about it was where the last group came in at, they came in straight, looking right at the call, we were right on the other side, and they had no idea we were yeah, there with, no the, clue. with this with this camera. They had no idea we were here. So, you know what, guys? It's early. We're gonna keep on. We're gonna get some more goners. So, stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. There'll be more to follow. The job is presented by Song Dog Mafia, Icotech, Dead Serious Game Calls, Huntworth Clothing, for all kinds of weather, for all kinds of terrain, for all kinds of budgets, clothing that works, specialized dynamics, if you want to hang fur, you've got to drive tax. Predator Hunter Outdoors. Keep hunting after the sun goes down. Tony Tebby's signature sounds, second to none. And Black Diamond Optics. Expand your potential. Why'd you miss that coyote? Well, here's the deal. It's always windy out here in New Mexico. It's been real windy the last couple of days. Got up this morning, wind wasn't blowing as bad. That wind picked up to a whole four, maybe five miles per hour. And then one of the New Mexico freaking grasshoppers jumped up, landed right on my face. And I jumped and pulled the trigger. It's an accident. It happened. GoPro footage tells a completely different story. It is what it is. Okay. Give it a 
keep going left. Up to the tree. Where? Straight out from here. Down. He I don't see him. But he's gone. He's, he was headed out. What did he see? He saw us, or the call. He looked directly at the call and then took off. That's a long poke. That is a long poke. Dude, all I could see was right here up. Yeah. And he was behind a tree. I poked it right through a tree. Nice. Well, we can eat worse now. That worked out. That's the re that scene is called Redemption Coyote. Good job bringing him back. Thank you. I said I'm going to start the stand with Cottonteen just if there's any close ones. And then I'm going to get into the hand calling and he received both. Cottonteen <laughs> pulled him in, he left, hand call pulled him back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, dang it, that, that one got away, and then he hand called, man, he was right back. I mean, he, he knew something wasn't right, he didn't want to commit to come all the way back in, but it was just enough. The, yeah, yeah, sideways. These bushes aren't doing any good, we're sitting out in the open as far as he's concerned. Yeah. But that's the best shot I've seen all season. That was yeah, really, that was really awesome. good shot. But yeah. That's a heck of a shot. Yeah. Thank you. I redeemed yeah, myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like you had 10 minutes to get settled and get all perfect. <laughs> yeah, that was... It seemed like it. Seemed like it. That's gonna be a man. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty. Look at them guard hairs. Real pretty. Yeah, that's that's our a good quality desert coyote. Got those guard hairs. Look pretty. Sweet. I say you got that gun dialed in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he looks like an older coyote too. Bottom, yeah. His bottom teeth are all gone, worn down to the gums. Yeah, look at that. That's a pretty guy. That, that guard hairs are beautiful. It's kind of crazy. He's got some stumpy legs on him. Yeah. And he's not very tall. Mm -hmm. He's round. Mm -hmm. Pick him up. I mean, he weighs he more looks than... like He looks like Canty and Dakota. Could be just a cousins. Weighs well, more than he looks, doesn't yeah. he? That's the power of those specialized dynamics gun. That's get one of those, you can thread them. And he made a good, what, 200 yard shot? Yeah, 200. Easy. All right, guys, well, that's number five. Yeah. Another goner. Alright guys, we just got number six for today. So we're doing pretty actually, I'm sorry, one last night, five today, six for the last uh, few stands. So we're up here. I was able to get up on the uh, Predator Hunter Outdoors tripod, turn them a tripod and get up a little bit. I've been having a hard time seeing over this grass in some spots. So let's go see what we got. That's a healthy coyote. That's another good one. All right. That's gotta be a male. Look at that big old melon. Yeah. Down. Yep. <clears throat> That's a nice coyote. Oh, dude, that's a good looking coyote. That's a pretty one. Nice. Tell you what, those bullets really doing their job. They are today, yeah. They're I mean, doing. They're not, 
You did that one that you hit in the shoulder, kind of blew it out, but everything else, you had to lift them up to see where you hit them. Yep. That's good. Yeah, not much blood. So I got 100% of the energy. Hey, it's pretty. Pretty colors. It was a frontal shot, right? Yeah, it was kind of, yeah. Kind of he was kind of quartered at me. What, what, what were you playing on this one? Well, of course, the Architect Night Stalker. And we started out with cotton teen. It's been working really good for us this week. And uh, nothing came in. So I had, we went ahead and switched to uh, Bunny Foo Foo. And uh, that triggered two coyotes. We had this one coming in here. And we had another one coming in from this side. He was the first one to the scene, so he was the first one to get, <laughs> get thrown on the back of the vehicle. <laughs> first one to get the thwop. Yeah, that was a good coyote. That's a nice coyote. Dark, pretty. Heavy. Yeah. If you're going to drag one back, might as well drive it, drag a heavy one back. <laughs> Well, as always, we've had a great time with Tony. You know, he's a great host, and we uh, we have a lot of time, a good time with him, and we're always laughing, cutting up, having fun, and <laughs> you know, we love coming out here and hunting with Tony. And you know, it's fun to hunt with somebody else that you know knows what they're doing and has prime land, and you know, it's just it's just a blast, just a blast to get out here with him. Hey guys, if you haven't checked it out yet, go to Predator University and check out what Tony's got going on. And where do they go, Tony? Uh, they go to PredatorUniversity.com, and you go to the online store. Look for Tony Tubby signature sounds. We got over 500 sounds. They play on any call brand. And uh, this is the results. Hey, we appreciate your all support. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the job. Heck yeah. Way to go. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for having us, Tony. Next time on the job, Jason and Cody are back from New Mexico. They meet up with Jason Haney for a morning of coyote hunting. Plan on laying down some coyotes and coons today. Then Jason is out with Alex and Corey on a cold day of coyote calling. Three, two, one. That's on the season finale of The Job.